Hi, I'm Jules Astara. Welcome to my home studio. In this video, I'm sharing art made with treasures found in nature while giving special attention to the sense of touch. And if you'd like to do this yourself, then you can go for a walk. It's winter where I am, so there's very few things in bloom, but there's still a lot of beauty to be found and interesting textures to be found. So I went on a gathering walk while giving attention to the sense of touch. So gathering various items with that in mind. Some are softer, some are rougher, some are smooth, some are a little bit prickly, though I did avoid the blackberry thorns. <laughs> I invite you to go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see future videos, and you might also want to join my email newsletter because you become eligible for seasonal giveaways, and that includes items like inspiration card decks, art prints, or online classes. All right, let's get started. Enjoy. So I'm using the flip side of a 12 by 12 inch wood cradled panel so that I'm using it like a tray. That way I can move it around. It can kind of be like a movable altar around my studio and then it's easy to take the stuff back outside and return it to nature after. And this was inspired by a session I did for the Loving Healing Creating Summit. I did, this is my second take on it after doing it for that. So you can learn more about that in the description for the video and join along there if you'd like to do that. We explored touch, the sense of touch through various, in a few different ways. So this was only one of the ways shared. There is also another creative project using other supplies in it. And I discussed composition a bit more in detail in that one as well. So you can check that out for more guided narration. I did speed this up a bit for your sake to respect your time while watching it. However, during the process, I encourage you to take your time, enjoy it, and let that be almost like a meditative moment that you're spending connecting, getting intimate with the items that you're using from nature. So it's like I'm co-creating with nature who has already started because it's providing all of these shapes and materials. And I am layering it the way that I typically would a painting with many layers. You could do as many or as few as you like. And this often inspires paintings for me, this process and being able to play with different shapes than maybe what I would usually think to do or arrange in a certain way and rearrange because this is an easy way to change it up, maybe more so than when you're painting, although you can always change it up with painting as well. And I have lots of other classes using ink and watercolors and acrylic paints, all different types of painting supplies and sketching if you'd like to join me for one of those. And if you stick it out through the whole video, I decided to go ahead and add the one of the paintings that this inspired to this video as well. bringing in a little mini orange that was homegrown for a sun right up in the left hand corner. It was just fun. A few more things around the edges and here and there and then voila, I love it. And it's always nice to take a few photographs, zoom into different areas to enjoy those and to be able to save it since this is a more temporary art form that you can enjoy for a while before letting it go. 
If you'd like to explore more permanent forms of art created inspired by nature, you could join me for the Inktastic Art Adventures. There's several different types of projects that we explore in that one. Or the Loving Healing Creating Summit for the other Touch Time projects, along with many other sessions from several presenters. More information for both in the description for the video. And now moving on to the sketch, just grabbed a sketchbook and I like to sketch with a marker rather than a pencil. It keeps me looser because there is no eraser. <laughs> I can always paint over it or change it, but this was just an inexpensive sketchbook, so I'm not too worried about it. I've noticed for myself and for many students in a lot of my classes that the more expensive your supplies are, sometimes the more hesitant you are to just use them. So I encourage you to have some of both because there is a difference. The, sometimes the colors and the vibrancy that you get from certain paints, the pigment is different. So if you can splurge on a few really nice favorites, that's lovely. However, there are many, many ways to get creative without super expensive supplies. The nature art on the left here is a great example. So now coming in with some craft acrylic paint, inexpensive paint that I am just trying to use up because when I first started painting, I this is what I could afford and I have since invested in some nicer materials. However, I still want to use this and not waste it. So sometimes I give some away, but I also use it in this way. This is because this sketchbook paper is not really intended to take paint. It may not turn out quite as nice, although this one ended up coming out really well in the end. But it's a great place to experiment and play with your lesser expensive supplies if because that can be freeing, liberating, and that's often where the real magic happens. That was adding a little bit of alcohol ink. I've been playing with them a lot since creating the Inktastic course and using them more in that. So just adding a little bit of them here because you get a different effect that is fun, that I enjoy. And then adding a bit of gold, metallic gold, which adds a nice shimmer to the original and I enjoy it. So do what makes you happy. <laughs> Find joy in the process. And here I decided this is several days later after the painting had dried to come in with some collage paper. So these are all papers that I have made either in the You're in Color class. I did sessions about playful patterns and creating your own patterned paper. And then some of them were from the Inktastic course as well, Some because I, I see some that have ink on them. So if they came from one or the other of those, this painting ends up having it is like a fusion. It's integrating all those different sessions that I did for different summits and courses and pulling it into this one. So I love that you can do that through art, that it is a place that you can blend your experiences and bring all these different aspects in. So when I do sessions for courses like that, it's usually much slower pace than this one is, even though I sometimes speed them up a little bit, nowhere near like I did for this here. Um, so if you want more step-by-step -step instructions for creating paintings and mixed media art similar to this, then I encourage you to check out those. There's links in the description below the video for different offerings. And it can also be really helpful just to have the encouragement from a facilitator and guide and co-creator, someone who is going through the creative process with you. I find that it is tends to be quite inspiring and motivating to participate in things like that. So we'd love to have you join me. And I thank you so much for joining me here. And this is a great place to get started. So I hope that you will get some of your art supplies out, whatever you might have. And if you don't have very many, then use what nature offers if you can find some of those. Or you can use some items from around the house. That's one of the things that I do in the Loving Healing Creating Summit. The second project is using random things that you might find in your laundry room or junk drawer to make something. And if you make something inspired by this video, I would love to see. You can share pictures in the group that I host for co-creative artists. So there's a link for that 
in the description below the video as well if you'd like to share with us there. You can also tag me if you share something on social media so I can maybe see it that way. If you have questions about the process shared in this video, you can ask those in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching and spending a bit of your time with me in this way.